Hey, you guys. Um, I hope you are doing well. I'm back again with another message from the Lord. This particular message is based upon a vision. Um, I was just sitting, well, I was, you know, meditating on God the night before last, meditating, talking to him. And God showed me in a vision of lightning striking. It was dark and lightning was striking. And I'm like, okay, God, why are you showing me this? Why are you showing me this? And I, and I was just like, can you give me more clarity? And I I know what lightning means to me. I know when lightning and thunder, that is a sign to me, or God has told me that's a sign of his judgment, his wrath. Um, you know, thunder, I picture thunder as God's voice. Um, so, but the lightning represents you know you can represent you know his judgment and his wrath and so i was just like okay god i know you've been having me talk about judgment i know you've been having me talk about wrath but give me more clarity on what you're saying so lord and behold you guys the next day the very very next day um god showed me um the number 798 um, 797 i'm sorry he showed me the number 797 and the strong accordance 797 means lightning and i'm like okay god like i know it's a message behind this lightning and he gave me scriptures and i just got finished reading the scriptures and i'm going to talk about what he has revealed to me um but you guys god wants us to be ready for his son jesus return you know we all are living in the end times um the bible tells us a lot about um the end times and what we're going to see and what to expect and the stuff that we are seeing now is just the beginning okay um the rumors of wars the wars all this stuff is just the beginning be rejoicing and be glad um because jesus will you know will is a sign that jesus is it will be soon returning okay however god took me to the book of luke chapter 17 um, I'm gonna start reading at the verse at verse 20 and I'm gonna read over to verse 25 and then I'm gonna read what the commentary says and this is under Jesus teaches about the coming of the kingdom of God one day the Pharisees asked Jesus when will the kingdom of God come Jesus replied the kingdom of God can't be detected by visible signs you won't be able to say here it is or is it it's over there for the kingdom of God is already among you among you then he said to his disciples the time is coming when you will long to see the day when the son of man returns but you won't see it people will tell you look there is the son of man or here he is but don't go out to follow them for as the lightning flashes and lights up the sky from one end to the other so will it be on the day when the son of man returns but first the son of man must suffer terribly and be rejected by this generation i'm gonna read down further when the son of man returns it will be like it was in the day of in noah's day in those days people enjoyed banquets and parties and weddings right up on the time Noah entered his boat and the flood came and destroyed it. And the world will be as if it was the day of Lot. People went about their daily business, eating and drinking, buying and selling, farming and building until the morning Lot left Solomon. Then the fire and the burning sulfur ran down from the heaven and destroyed them all. Yes, it will be business as usual right upon the day when the son of man is revealed on that day people are out on the deck or on the roof must not go down into the house to pack a person out in the field must not return home remember what happens to lot wife if you cling to your life you will lose it and if you will let go of your life you will save it that night two men two people will be asleep in one bed and one will be taken and one will be left two women will be grinding flour together at the meal one will be taken and one will be left where will this happen lord the disciple said just as the gathering of virtue shows vultures shows that there is a 
carcass nearby. So the signs indicate the end is near. Okay. So pretty much y'all, God wants us to be prepared for um, his son's return. All right. And I'm going to read a little bit from the commentary too as well. Life will be going on as usual on the day as Jesus returned. No warning will be sound. Most people will be going about their everyday tasks indif indifferent to the commands of God. They will be surprised by Jesus' return <clears throat> as the people in Noah's day were by the flood or by the people in Lot's by the destruction of Solomon. We don't know the time of Jesus' return, but we do know that, that he is coming back. He may come today, tomorrow, or in centuries in the future. Whenever he comes, we must be ready. Lives live as is live as if Jesus was returning today. Reach out to those who have yet to hear of his love and mercy. Help them prepare for his return. I've been saying this a lot to a lot of people that I know, and I talked about this in a few videos. I'd rather Jesus come back, seeing his son Jesus back to find me operating in my purpose <laughs> than to find me doing something else. Because if Jesus come back, because like I said, we we don't know the time or the hours. We will be able to know the seasons. Like we'll be able to know a, a few of the signs, like he said in here in the Bible, um, in Luke chapter 17. However, you don't want to come back, Jesus to come back and surprise you. And you're doing something that you don't have no business doing. And then when Jesus come back for the rapture to take people back, you left behind here. Okay. And... I'm going to read something else. Many will claim to be the Messiah and many will claim that Jesus has returned and people will believe them. Jesus strongly warns us not to um, take such reports seriously, no matter how convincing they may sound. When Jesus returns, his power and presence will be evident to everyone. No one will need to spread the message because um, we because all will see for themselves. All right, and it's another part that i wanted to read here we go jesus warns against false security we are to abandon the values and the attachments of this world in order to be ready for jesus returns it will happen suddenly and when he comes no one will have a second chance those who believe and follow him will be taken to will be will be taken with him. Everyone else will be left behind. They will not they will not have another opportunity to change their minds. Y'all, that's serious. So when Jesus comes back, he's gonna come back and get those who ready. And when you don't go with him, when if you're not ready and he don't take you up back with him. They will not have another opportunity to change their minds. No one will have a second chance. God is giving you right now a second chance to get it together. Get it together. God has given you a second chance to get it together. And this ties into the other message when I was talking about God has gave you a second chance. And it was relating to two people, uh, parents, uh, a mother and father when it came to their child. But that also resonates with this message too as well. Because you have a second chance to get it together. You have a second chance to birth your baby. You have a second chance to do the ministry that which God has called you to do in this hour. After Jesus' return, there will be no second chances. So are you ready? Are you living a life today that if Jesus come back today, you will be taken back with him? Are you ready? Are you found blameless in this hour? Are you ready? Because Jesus is soon to come, whether it's today, tomorrow, centuries. Like I said, a lot of people think they got time to get it together, which God is giving you a second chance now. But when Jesus cracked that sky open, there's no more second chances. There's no more time for you to get it together. So why not utilize this time and get it together now while you still have the opportunity? All right. So are you ready? For Jesus to return. Are you ready to get it together? Because right now is the time to get it together. All right. So I just wanted to come and share this message. I love you guys. I hope you all have an amazing day. And I will chat with you all later.